Hello, Eric the Computer Guy here. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be upgrading the Dell Dimension 3000 to a Pentium 4 CPU. Eric the Computer Guy. Choosing the CPU was a bit of a difficult challenge. There is no CPU upgrade list from Dell officially. On their support forums, there were a few people asking the question, what Pentium 4 can I put in this computer? Some people in this forum post said you can put a hyper-threaded chip in there, and others said no. So for best compatibility, I eliminated any hyper-threaded CPU potential for this computer. I will do testing at a later date when I can secure another hyper-threaded Pentium 4. I have two of them, but they're in two working computers I don't feel like decommissioning. So this left me with single core, single threaded Pentium 4s. The fastest chip I had on hand was a 2.53 GHz Northwood Core CPU. Not much faster than the Celeron D330, which I believe is a 2.26 GHz CPU. So we really only had a slight performance increase on the core clock. But that doesn't really give the answer to everything. The front side bus speed also is a factor. With that being said, let's roll the upgrade footage and the benchmarks. GTA Vice City at 480p low settings on the Celeron yielded a minimum of 15, an average of 29, a maximum of 31. On the Pentium 4 the same 480p low settings, a minimum of 24, an average of 29, a maximum of 31. For Halo Combat Evolved, at 480p low settings, on the Celeron we had a minimum of 9, an average of 38, a maximum of 62. With the Pentium 4, the same 480p low settings, a minimum of 20, an average of 37.68, a maximum of 60. For Call of Duty 2 at 480p low settings on the Celeron, a minimum of 0, an average of 44, a max of 61. For the Pentium 4 at the same 480p low settings, a minimum of 0, an average of 41.21, a maximum of 62.
the Cinebench 2003 CPU results, the Celeron D330 yielded 199 points. The Pentium 4 yielded 248 points. So, the Pentium 4 does improve performance significantly. In a few tests, the frame rates at the maximum and average were a little lower. I could point this towards a margin of error in the way those came out, but this system really did get a significant improvement in certain titles. The minimum FPSs went from being, in some games, barely playable to just skating that line playable and not playable. So that was something I was really looking forward to with the upgrade. This is something I wanted to do for a whole year of having this computer, but I never got around to it until now. And I'm kind of grateful I did. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Eric the Computer Guy signing off. Stay safe out there. Peace.